Hey everybody, happy Friday. It's so good to see you all again. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. It's a gorgeous, sunny, sunny day. And I sure miss seeing you. I'm glad we can at least be together like this. I wanted to tell you a little bit about what a special day this is in the church. This is a day called Good Friday. And Good Friday is the day that we remember that Jesus died for our sins on the cross. <sighs> Sin. What is sin exactly? Well, simply put, sin is anything that we do that would displease God. And unfortunately, all of us have sinned. The Bible says that all of us have sinned. I have, you have, and yes, moms and dads have. Everybody has sinned. So, let's think about how to explain this a little bit. Let's pretend for just a moment that anything that you did that was a sin is kind of like a rock okay do you have a rock around your house anywhere maybe you have one in your room maybe you will have one out in the front yard but go get yourself a rock okay let's get a rock and then we'll call that our sin rock we're gonna hold that rock in our hand and now where are we gonna put that rock well we need some kind of a bag maybe we have a grocery bag or maybe we have a backpack do you have a backpack that's close by Maybe it's got some school supplies in it right now. But let's just pretend for just a minute. We're going to take all of those sins that we have done, all of those things that are not good, that have displeased God, and we'll call those sins. And then we're going to put them inside this bag. And the bag will kind of be like our heart. I just happen to have something like that. Let me get it for you. Oh, oh it's so heavy. Oh, wow look at what I found here now this this is my backpack and inside it let's pretend that all of what's inside of here are sins let's see what's inside let me grab one of these this is a big rock oh wow what's down in here there's a lot of stuff in here isn't it what is this one Oh my, it says right here, I hit my brother because he took my video game. <gasps> oh boy, that's never good, is it? I don't think God would like it if we hit somebody and we, because they took a video game. So I would say that that's a sin. What else is in here? Oh, here's one. I cheated on a test at school when I looked on my friend's paper oh boy we're not supposed to cheat in school on our test are we because that's being dishonest so I would say that that's a sin there's more stuff in here though oh boy here's a really really big one I can pick it up I lost my temper with my dad and I said I hate you oh boy that's a big one, right? Mm. Losing our temper is bad enough, but then we say things that are very disrespectful and hurtful to somebody. That's, I would say that that's also a sin, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. So let's pretend now. Let's say that all of these things that are inside this backpack are all sins and we're putting them in our heart. So the backpack is our heart. So what happens when we fill it up with all of these things that are sin? The backpack, try to pick it up. Oh, oh, it gets so heavy. It gets so heavy that we can hardly lift it sometimes. It gets so heavy that we can't even carry it anymore. And so you know what Jesus does? Jesus comes along and he goes, hey, are you sorry that you hit your brother? And you say, am I sorry? And Jesus says, yes. Was that a right thing to do? And you'd have to just say, no, Lord, that wasn't a right thing to do. And Jesus says, are you sorry? And you say, yes, Jesus, I'm sorry. Will you please forgive me? And Jesus says, I love you so much. And yes, I forgive you. Now give me that rock. And you say, give me the rock. And he says, yes, you don't need it anymore because I forgave you of that sin. 
it's gone now. Now you give me that rock and I'll take care of it. And then you say, okay, well, you can have my rock. And you just hand it to Jesus. And you say, okay, you can have that rock. And you know what? Your backpack just got a lot lighter, didn't it? And so Jesus says to you again, when you got mad last night and you told your father that you hated him, you didn't really mean that, did you? Are you sorry that you did that? And you say, yes, Lord, I'm very sorry. Will you please forgive me for saying that? And you can also say to your father, would you please forgive me for doing that? And Jesus says, I love you so much. And yes, I forgive you. And so now let me have that rock. And you take that rock out and you say, here you go, Lord, you can have the rock. In fact, Jesus, I love you so much and I want to honor you every day of my life. I don't want any more rocks. You can have all of my rocks. You can have every last one of them. And Jesus says, give them all to me. And then you know what? You take them out. You take all of the rocks out and we give them to Jesus, one right after the other. And we hand them over to Jesus. And Jesus says, now look inside your backpack. Look inside your heart. What's inside there? There's nothing down in your heart that's weighing you down anymore. There's no sin in your heart anymore because I took all of it. I took all of it so that your heart wouldn't ever have to be heavy again. I want you to be free. I want you to be happy. I want you to know that I love you and that I forgive you for everything. All you have to do is just say, I'm sorry, and I take it all away. And that's what Jesus did on Good Friday. Jesus took all of those rocks, all of those things that were heavy in our heart, that were weighing us down, and he took them all, and he put them on the cross, and he said, they're gone now. I took care of them. They're not your weights anymore. They're only mine, and he did it because he loves you. Jesus wants you to be happy and free and joyful. He wants you to just enjoy knowing him. He wants you to be his child. And he wants you to serve Jesus every day of your life. That's what he did. And that's why he did this beautiful thing called Good Friday. Because even though it was a very painful and sad death, it was a Good Friday. Because he took all of those sins away from us once and for all so that we could be free from sin and he did that because he loves you he loves you and I love you have a good weekend bye